Hey everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question. A 78 years old man present with symptoms consistent with intermittent claudication. To assess the severity of his disease, you decide to measure his ankle brachial pressure index. To do this, you will identify the dorsalis pedis artery. Which of the following statement relating to the vessel is false? So, first of all, let's see the key point from this question. So, this is a long question, but here the main point is which statement relating to these vessels that means the arteria dorsalis pedis or dorsalis pedis artery is false. So, it is one of the long question, but the key point is very, very small that the relating uh, the dorsal spedis artery which is not true in the following options. So, we have the option. Option are uh, it originated from the peroneal artery. It is crossed by the tendon of extensor hallucis brevis. Two veins are usually closely related to it. It passes under the inferior extensor retinaculum. The tendon of extensor digitorum longus lies lateral to it. So, now see details about the dorsal spedis artery or arteria dorsal spedis. So, here in this picture, we can see this is the dorsal spedis artery, this artery, this is the dorsal spedis artery. And if we go backward, we can see it is continuation of this artery and this artery is the anterior tibial artery. So, the dorsal spedis artery, it is the continuation of the anterior tibial artery. And we can see it uh, passes behind this retina column and here this uh, the extensor retinaculum in case of ankle joint and here we can see this is the superior part and here this is the y-shaped inferior extensor retinaculum so this is the superior extensor retinaculum and here this is the inferior extensor retinaculum and dorsal spedis artery it originated from the anterior tibial artery and it passes below the inferior extensor retinaculum and here another two important points that it this dorsal spedis artery it lies lateral to two important muscle and medial to another important muscle so here first of all we have to know the name of the muscles here we can see this muscle this is the tibialis anterior so dorsal spedis artery it lies lateral to the tibialis anterior and second muscle here this is the extensor hallucis longus this is the extensor hallucis longus so the dorsal spedis artery it lies lateral to the tibialis anterior and extensor hallucis longus then here we can see this is another muscle tendon and this is the extensor digitorum longus so in this case dorsalis pedis artery it lies medial to this tendon and this is the extensor digitorum longus tendon so in very short in this picture a lot of information that dorsalis pedis artery it is continuation of the anterior tibial artery and it uh, lies below the inferior extensor retinaculum it lies lateral to the extensor hallucis longus and tibialis anterior and medial to the extensor digitorum longus so in the second picture we can see here this is in the second picture and this picture we can see this is the dorsalis pedis artery and at the past dorsal interosei space it goes downward and here we can see this is this dorsalis pedis artery again this important tendon this is the extensor hallucis longus so dorsalis pedis artery it lies extensor hallucis longus and tibialis anterior tibialis anterior muscle lies here also and this is the extensor digitorum longus so, the dorsal spedis artery, it is located between the extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus and it is medial to the extensor digitorum longus and lateral to the extensor hallucis longus. So, in this picture, this provides the same type of information with slight difference here. First of all, we can see this is the superior extensor retinaculum. Here, this is the inferior extensor retinaculum. 
and here we can see two important structures one is the dorsal spidey artery another one is this deep peroneal nerve and uh, from here another important question that the structure which passes below the extensor retinoculum so here these structure these are located below the extensor retinoculum and here we can see another important muscle which is the extensor digitorum brevis here and we can see this is the extensor digitorum brevis and the dorsal spidey artery it is very closely related to this extensor digitorum brevis so here this is the extensor retinoculum and the structure which is located behind the extensor retinoculum they are first of all medial to lateral first of all two tendon then vessels and nerve then another tendon so first of all two tendon then vessels and nerve then one tendon from medial to lateral first of all two tendon tibialis anterior and extensor hollows is longus then vessels on um, is the anterior tibial artery above and in the lower part dorsal spadis artery uh, actually it is anterior tibial artery then deep peroneal nerve then extensor digitorum longus tendon so two tendon then vessels and nerve then another one tendon they passes behind the extensor retinaculum of the ankle joint and here the extensor digitorum previous it is closely related by this dorsal spadis artery or it is crossed by the dorsal spadis artery and in the second picture we can see very clearly the same structure this is the extensor digitorum brevis and this extensor digitorum brevis here we can see this is the dorsal spadis artery and it is crossed by the extensor digitorum brevis it is crossed by these vessels and nerve and this is uh, the another picture and in this picture we can see this is the past interdigital space and the digital and the artery dorsal spadis it comes up to here and here we can see different type of the veins here and different type of vein actually present there so here our final answer this is uh, not true regarding the dorsal spadis artery this is it originated from the peroneal artery it is not true because uh, it is known to us that the dorsal spadis artery it arises from the anterior tibial artery not from the peroneal artery and other uh, points here we can see it is crossed by the tendon of extensor hallucis brevis it is true then two veins are usually closely related to the it uh, here we can see this is the different type of the vein who is um, uh, and here the artery so the different type of vein usually present around the dorsal spinous artery then fourth option it passes under the inferior extensor retinoculum it is also true here we can see this is the inferior inferior extensor retinoculum so here this is uh, the inferior extensor retinoculum here this is the inferior extensor retinoculum and we can see the vessels it uh, lies below this inferior extensor uh, retinoculum and last of all the tendon of extensor digitorum longus lies lateral to it it is also true and it is known to us that the extensor digitorum longus it lies lateral side and medially the two another important tendon one is the tibialis anterior and another one is the extensor hallucis longus actually it is the extensor hallucis longus if the extensor hallucis longus uh, uh, not in option then there will be answer of anterior tibial artery uh, so uh, it is about the dorsal spadis artery in very shots thank you all